Hey everybody, this is Johnny Dim, and I heard some amazing news today. Uh, they're actually maybe, maybe doing a sequel to Willow, the 1988, in my opinion, very much a classic. Uh, it did not actually do very well when it was released in theaters, uh, but I grew up on that movie and I absolutely love it. Super, super excited about the, uh, the, the idea that there might be a sequel. Um, now the rumor right now is that Disney, since Disney owns Lucasfilm and all that, and, and Willow is a Lucasfilm property, um, and Ron Howard is now working with Lucasfilm again because he did uh, uh, he took over directing uh, duties for Solo. You know it's kind of full circle. Things are coming together, and they're they actually are talking about that possibility. Ron Howard admitted um, he brought it up in an interview um, recently. So, first off, might be on the streaming service that is upcoming for Disney. That's that's one thing they're talking about. It could be a series, maybe like hour-long episodes, kind of like Game of Thrones and Walking Dead and all that kind of good stuff. Um, it could be one of those. Uh, I think that's where I think that's the way, they, the way they'd be leaning because they're 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 supposed to be leaning pretty heavy into this the the, uh, the streaming service, which I think shows do better. You get more um, time uh, to put stuff like you get more time with viewers like. Uh, uh, a 10 episode hour long episode series um, is going to be uh, a lot more attractive uh, to people I think than just a, a 2 or 3 hour movie but aside from all that uh, the the rumor right now also is that Alora Dannon which is the, the baby actually in the original uh, movie would be the main protagonist um, I, I'm imagining I think the story halfway writes itself you know she's, she, she's the main female protagonist she's probably like uh, she probably grew up with Uncle Uncle Mad Mortigan and is a good fighter. Uh, maybe she knows a little bit uh, of uh, of uh, sp you know some spell casting and stuff like that because because of uh, Willow the character as well. These are probably characters she knows. Uh, and I I don't know. I think that it kind of like I said it kind of writes itself. I mean it could be um, where we left off in the first movie. It'd be a very peaceful uh, kingdom, very prosperous kingdom that they probably uh, started with because that's kind of where we left off in the first one. I mean they've established. Um, that that that, uh, that kingdom anyway, because the bad guys are all gone. So I think what we have is probably some kind of incoming threat that's going to kind of be uh, brewing. Maybe uh, uh, I don't know some some of the dark lord or something comes and 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 starts screwing things up, and then probably knocks her down a peg, and, she, and then it would be her journey probably back to, you know, uh, a uh, uh, the status in which she started with. Um, anyway, that's how I think it would go. Here are some other things, though. Um, Ron Howard did not write the first one. George Lucas did. So I'm curious where they're going to go with the with the who's going to go who they're going to go with as a writer, because that's going to be actually pretty interesting to watch. I'm going to be staying staying on top of that. I'm going to be watching to see who they actually get signed on for that and seeing what they what kind of credits that person would have, because I doubt George Lucas is going to come come out of retirement for this. Um, although that would be interesting, but I think maybe maybe. His best writing days are behind him. Um, but I'm really glad that Ron Howard would be doing the directing. Um, although I did look at his recent record on IMDb, and he's got some stinkers on there. His best one in the last few years has been um, he did a Beatles uh, documentary. That's supposed to be really good. It actually got a lot of good reviews. But his last uh, in the, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, it's, in, it's Inferno is the name of the movie. It's that Tom Hanks religious trilogy or whatever. What's it called? Inferno. Huh? Inferno. Inferno's the, the latest one. Mm -hmm. It's like oh. it's like it's like um it's like National Treasure but with religious stuff. Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code. Yeah, that's the one. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna end this video by showing you guys some stuff. I don't know if it's gonna let me Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna do this. I got, I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of stuff. So, I got a bunch of Willow stuff actually. Uh, there you go. Let's see if we can get that without the glare. All right. So there's my Willow collection up there. Um, yes, that's a board game which I got for my birthday, which is really cool. It's still sealed and in the box. Some of my figures. 
my DVDs, my Blu-ray, my two VHSs, one signed by Val Kilmer. So I'm not I'm not showing off or anything, but but I just I'm just trying to show you guys how excited I am about this because it's this is one of the the this is one of the best things I have I have ever heard in my life that they're doing a sequel to Willow. What's funny about that is that Warwick Davis, of course, who plays Willow, he had his own show recently and and Val Kilmer actually showed up on this episode and they actually were joking. Val Kilmer was actually trying to swindle money out of out of Warwick Davis because they were gonna do a Willow 2 sequel that really wasn't gonna happen. So Val Kilmer was just gonna steal everybody's money. That's 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 pretty funny. I, I never would have thought this was actually gonna happen. I, I didn't think anybody else thought it was serious either. Um, I would love to see Val Kilmer in this movie, but to be honest, his his health isn't doing that well. Um, I'm not I'm not making that up. I actually saw it firsthand uh, when I got my VHS signed. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Um, this is the countdown right now to Comic Palooza that we're doing. Uh, we're gonna we got that coming up in a couple weeks here in Houston. It's gonna be an awesome convention. We got Tom Holland, um, Jessica Jones herself is gonna be there. Uh, a couple of Star Trek guys. Uh, uh, what's his name? Brett Spiner. And LeVar Burton will be will be there. Um, it's going to be a great convention. We're going to have a booth. We're going to try to get a bunch of new subscribers. Um, and also, uh, I'm planning on actually redoing our Patreon soon. But if you want to know what that's about, just check the link link in the, in the description. And then you can find out all the other stuff, our social media stuff. I'm at Johnny Dim. And, of course, at Quite Contrary YT is our our, uh, our Quite Contrary Twitter handle. I'm I'm rambling, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Check the links. Check the videos. They're all over my my face. All right, later.